has produced memories that would last a lifetime. Long parades. I don't see how the kids did it. I don't think I could have played as much as they did today. Still sounded pretty good at the end. A long parade indeed. A long six days. Everybody felt it physically. But spirits were high. The feeling it was like we were running on empty and our bodies and our minds were just going wild. The end of the parade, I felt very relieved. It was a very long parade, and um, we were very tired. And being at attention for five and a half miles was kind of rough, and um, we were really relieved to just let, let loose. I felt proud. I felt real proud being at. You know, we're the only man from this area, the team from this area, to go help one of the march. I think in a few years we'll be able to put it all in perspective, and as we get further away from the trip, we're able to put it more and more in perspective. It's it's not something that it's not a task that I would have taken on for myself for any reason, but but it was an opportunity for these children. That, that I didn't feel like we could let pass up. And from the very beginning, I believed that we could, we could make the trip. David Williamson believed we could make the trip. And we had a number of parents and students that believed we could make this happen. And, and we did. And it, it was a, a great opportunity, both educationally and socially, and from a publicity uh, standpoint for our students, for our town, for our school. I don't know that um, in, in terms of things that you could do in high school, that, that there are many things that would, would be bigger than being able to say, when I was in high school, I marched in the Terminal Road. And the Walterboro High School Band of Blue marches on. Do that. Um, and while we were practicing for the parade, 
I remember going around and around and around on the track outside thinking, my God, this is, it couldn't be this long. And, and you saw, I think Shelby said it was five and a half miles. I remember it as seven. And I think when we were all walking off the field or off the road, it was like walking to Charleston and back. Um, and I don't think, I think the road that, that led up to the Rose Bowl, it wasn't, um, I'm sure it was a lot tougher than what we thought it was. And after we unloaded and sold all the 15 tons of fruit that it took to get us there, and we had to go to the car washes to wash all the fruit juices off. <laughs> um, it was a once in a lifetime experience and I can I couldn't imagine all the work that went into it that the students didn't know about. So thank, thank you, Mr. Young, for that. Mr. Bennigan, Mr. Ms. Messick. Um, you know, I've talked to a couple people in the past that says, you know, I wish I could have one more, one more year with the band. And, you know, I think that now that you are retired, the number's probably double. I'm not quite sure how many people want to come back now. <laughs> Mr. Young. <laughs> Mr. Young, he, he taught me that hard work and determination will pay off in the end. That if I gave my 110%, I could have the honor and respect of being a student and an alumnus of the Band of Blue. And that I could and do carry that honor throughout my adult life. It, it's hard to imagine the Band of Blue without you. And I do believe that your name and your inspiration will continue to be with the band for a long time. You are a legend throughout Calvin County and the state, as well as the band community in a whole. Thank you for everything that you did for me during my high school career and my adult life. Thank you. After the Rose Bowl, we saw two more state championships. And we'll go to that clip. <laughs>
looking at those clips from, especially from 97, I noticed there was a shot of uh, Bill Young III, and I know he can't be here tonight, and I know he wanted to be, and that was special to see that. Representing that era was um, our drum major from 1995 to 1996, Margaret Young Key.